only in a movie called Karen would you see a Confederate flag soap dispenser. I mean, of all the things, they could have put a literal just clan hood in her fucking closet and it would have got the same message across. Like, this is just goofy. I like movies. If you haven't noticed, I'm a big pop culture nerd. If you can see behind me, I like superheroes, I like comic books, I like video games, I like pop culture in general. But specifically, I'm really, 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 I'm a cinephile. I'm really into movies. And I can appreciate the art. West Side Story, thank you, Survival, thank you. West Side Story, thank you. Nice callback. Um, I can appreciate good film making more so because I can also appreciate bad movies as well. And I don't have a lot of free time in my life. Like I, I work a full time job. I try to stream when I can. Um, I, I have, you know, my personal life, family, friends, all that kind of shit. What's good, Archery? And so I, I can't always dedicate time to something i know is going to be bad even though i may enjoy it so usually lately i try to only make time for something i think i'm going to enjoy like i won't sit down and commit to a show or a movie if it's just going to be dumb and bad even if i might enjoy it just because there's so much other good shit that i don't have time for i would rather try and fit in things i know i'm going to enjoy before i waste my time watching something i know i'm not going to enjoy if that makes sense that being said, um, I do still enjoy a, bad, a good bad movie. And there's this trailer that's been making the rounds that's a BET original. Um, I'm pretty sure it's just going to be on BET. I don't think it's coming out to theaters or any kind of streaming service or anything, as far as I know. But we are going to watch the trailer to the Karen movie. Now, I know some other people have already covered this. But I haven't had a chance to talk about it yet, so fuck you. Bear with me, okay? Um, I, I have some thoughts on just the whole concept of this movie, but at the same time... Whatever outrage people have pretended to have about this movie... This concept for this film is not new. We just did something like this about five or six years ago with Lakeview Terrace. The movie with um, um, Samuel L. Jackson was pretty much the same premise, just with a black man and an uh, interracial couple as opposed to a white woman and a black couple. But hey, we'll, we'll, we'll pretend like this is some kind of new outrage. But I want to watch the trailer to this and we're going to talk about it. So... Yeah, right, we're hooligan, right? I ain't gotta make time for what's important. Point. Baby, you just gotta give it a chance. Tell me about your new neighbors. They're black. Do you mind keeping it down? If you don't comply, I'll tell the manager. Now, okay. <laughs> we're already starting strong. Now, this actress, I don't remember her name, but I know she was on Orange is the New Black and she plays like a villainous character in that show. And um, so I'm familiar with her from that. But one of the things about this that it almost makes me feel like this is a low key comedy is because they're hitting all the Karen tropes like the I'm going to speak to the manager. And another thing which I don't know. I'm trying to think how I want to say this. I don't know if every culture or ethnic group deals with this kind of thing, but there's this common thing that happens a lot when black people are out in public. At some point, there will always be some person that comes up and complains to or about 
the black people in said public setting. Either they're too rambunctious or they're too loud or they're distracting or something to the effect of that. They're just not acting properly in a way that I deem acceptable in public. I've had this happen to me plenty of times at movie theaters, at my job. I've had people do shit like this to me before. Like, basically, essentially told me at my job to shut the fuck up because I was being too distracting to them. And so this is actually a real thing that does happen that I can relate to, but it's still a trope. It's I'm going to call the manager. Can you black people please please be quiet? Like, like, like they, they have a checklist like, um, it's like bingo. We're going to just go down just all the I'm going to threaten to call the police. I'm going to pretend that the black person, you know, like abused me or something and scream. Oh, we're going down the whole the thing. Yeah, American History X. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's it. exactly right. Well, so right home security serious. Hi, I am Karen Drexler. I'm your neighbor. You need to be taking your trash cans off the curb right when the trash is picked up. Is she nice? Yeah. She's nice. Also, too, this is like a low budget ass movie too. like the, the, the outrage I've seen from the right about this. You would think this is like a big block like Zack Snyder and Christopher Nolan co-directed this movie together or some shit. I'm like, bro, this is like a low budget ass TV movie that's going to be on BET. Y'all have given this trailer more attention than the movie would have gotten just on its own merit. Wait a minute, we have a white entitled neighbor named Karen. Karen, hey, enjoy yourself. There she is slaving away in the kitchen. <laughs> Again, I can't, I can't get mad at it. It's, I, I, if anything, I find this shit funny. Like, come on, man. Yeah, well, I mean, th this movie only really works in America, though. Well, maybe not. It, I think if you changed or uh, tweaked a few things here and there, you could make this work in other um, um, ethnically diverse countries as well, too. But no, I, this, I, I think this particular flavor is very distinct to America. You're seeing the one about the woman who complained that a Burger King uniform was too distracting to her husband. Jesus Christ, are you serious? I've come across some very suspecting teenagers. Suspecting? Can you please hurry up? Please, it's, they're very, very aggressive, yep. I left my wallet with my ID at home. Leave us alone, we didn't do anything! How the heck did you end up moving to this neighborhood? <laughs> Next. <laughs> She's like, you mother effing monkeys! <laughs> Leaving your goddamn trash in the corner, I told you. Thing you know, we have crim Also, didn't she say you have to pick up the trash can immediately after the trash has been picked up? Like, that trash can was still full. Criminals, you take care of him, and I will take care of her. Would you mind stepping out of the car? My office has uncovered some disturbing information on her and her brother. She doesn't like black people. We have a search warrant. Well, I'm black. She's like, I, I know, she really don't like your ass. I know, she doesn't like you either. I want to sell the house. What I do? You can't tell me, huh? We are living. Now, I want to say something about this, all right? I want to say something about this. This is important. Now, I understand. For whatever reason. There are there there is a segment of the American population who has this weird obsession with Confederate memorabilia. Um, a lot of these people don't live in the South, don't have any family from the South, have no like heritage connection to the Confederacy in any way, shape or form. Actually, the majority of most people, even if you do live in the South, have no heritage connection to the confederacy the the i have tennis shoes older than the goddamn confederacy it was a fucking blink of an eye in, in our american history but sure for whatever reason there are some people who are just obsessed with confederate iconography and i've seen a lot of crazy shit i've seen confederate flag fanny packs i've seen bandanas t-shirts 
um, biker uh, vest and shit. But what I have not seen, what I have not seen are Confederate flag soap dispensers. And I'm not going to lie. This is new to even me. I, I've seen some weird shit. I've seen, you know, people driving around and pickup trucks with like, you know, Confederate flag decals all over it and shit. Literal flag flying from the back of the truck bed. This, this is new. This is new. Only in a movie called Karen would you see a Confederate flag soap dispenser. I mean, of all the things, they could have put a literal just clan hood in her fucking closet and it would have got the same message across. Like, this is just goofy. Next door to a racist. You went in her house? You wouldn't want your wife to know our little secret, right? It was not standard police procedure back there. What do we have here? We well, got a hammer. Everything looks like nails. You people are very angry. Shut your mouth, boy. <laughs> Bad things happen to people that don't comply. Now, look, is this going to be a good movie? Of course not. Like, it's, it's. I'm pretty sure everyone involved from the actors to the script writer to the director, the producers of the movie, the, the guy who holds the microphone up, like the, the people who dress the sets, costume, makeup people, all that. Everyone knows this is a bad movie. I don't think anyone is under any pretenses that this is going to be good. That being said, though. The amount of outrage that I've seen behind this, I'm like, really? Like, okay. Like, just to just to kind of give you hang on, because I don't want to be doing this shit under mine, because I don't want it to be constantly bringing up this shit. Karen trailer reaction. Now, look at this. Like, most of, at least it seems like most of the black folks who, who see this just, okay. I'm getting a little bit afraid of some of these thumbnails. Um, just seem to think that this shit is funny and goofy. It only seems to be like white conservatives who are really angry at this. Like, I don't, I don't get it. Like it's no one is taking this shit seriously except like Ben Shapiro and Michael Knowles and everybody else over at PragerU and Daily Wire and the blaze and all that kind of shit. Like most people are just like, okay, this is stupid. Was she thick or what? Oh, oh, the Burger King chick. I'm pretty sure. Well, Hooligan, do you have a link to that um, story you were talking about? With the Burger King um, employee in her uniform? Or maybe I can find it, actually. Um, here we go june 2nd karen tells burger king worker her uniform is a distraction to her husband here we go can we see i mean i mean i mean okay okay <laughs> i mean wait, wait wait to be fair to be fair I don't know how to I, I can't say this in a not misogynistic way. It's she thick as hell like she got ass for days. So, I mean, I, I think it's less the uniform and more so this girl is just curvy as hell. I mean, I had a lady complain today because my uniform was a distraction to her husband. Yeah. 
It's like, I mean, if your man is is just that thirsty that he can't keep his eyes off of, you know, the ass of the the workers at Burger King, I, I feel like that's more of a yaw issue than the um young woman that's um working at Burger King. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. It's right. Well, you're doing fine, buddy. Ah, damn. Yeah. Okay, man. Let me get off this shit. I'm getting thirsty. Yeah. <laughs> Stop looking at this shit. <clears throat> yeah, man. Like, I don't know. Yeah, you know, like I, like, when is this shit even coming out anyway? Like, look at this. Look at the like to dislike ratio. Look, this is what I'm talking about. These motherfuckers is mad as hell about the. 53,000 dislikes, man, to nine and a half thousand likes. Like, this is insane. This is literally. This is such an insignificant movie that no one cares about and is getting way more attention than what it deserves. And it has 53,000 dislikes. Man. Ah. Uh. Hey, what's good, Lords? <laughs> Mom, can we have get out? We already have get out at home. Get out at home. Yeah. Uh, I mean, yeah. It is what it is. It is what it is. Oh, wait, wait. I was trying to see... Okay, uh, real quick. I just want to know, when does this come out? Karen movie release date. As of now, there's no release date for the movie, but if Twitter has this way, it may never be released. Yeah, see, like, that's what I'm talking about. Like, they didn't even give it, like, a release date. Like, I feel like they just put this trailer out there just to make y'all motherfuckers mad. Should people start retroactively protesting? So, I mean, well, they kind of do. I mean, like things like Song of the South and shit like that. I mean, we've retroactively canceled those movies, I, I suppose you could say. I would argue that they deserve to be as well, but. Cancel the Wayans Brothers, bro. I don't think you need to do that. I'm pretty sure. Um society has canceled the Wayans Brothers. When the last time you've seen any of them in anything? I haven't seen a Wayans Brothers in a, a movie in fucking years. Well, I guess Sean I was in Marlin. Marlin was in something, I guess in the last couple years, I think. But it wasn't like a starring. I think he was like a supporting character. Ah, uh, they were okay back in the day, I guess. Back when Living Color was still on, the Wayans brothers were hilarious. Jim Carrey as well. Back then, those were the good, good old days. 